Hey guys, this is Rishi Chalani from The Dark Knot and today I would like to talk to you about how to get the optimal tie length for taller men. Now, I'm six foot three and as founder of The Dark Knot, I understand the trouble that men go through who are taller when they're trying to find a tie where they can tie a half or full Windsor, you know, with adequate length being shown on the backside to, to be able to go through the keeper and for the tie to reach, you know, the tip or the middle of their belt buckle. Now, one of the things, one of the first things I would look at, there are three things I'd look at. One of the first things I'd look at is how you're tying your ties. Now, when you are tying a tie, you generally want the amount of tie that's going to be consumed uh, by the knot. You want that much on the wide end hanging below your waistline. So if you are wearing, you know, a four in hand knot, you know, the knot's that big, but you're wrapping it around once. If it's a half Windsor, you're, you know, you're doing a couple moves with it. If it's a full Windsor, you're going through the loop twice and you're wrapping it around one. So with a full Windsor, you're gonna want that much more fabric from the wide end hanging below your belt buckle because once that amount of fabric is used up to create the right size knot, then you're gonna have the tip of your tie reaching your belt buckle. Now, assuming you are tying your ties correctly, and you know the first uh, step that I mentioned has already been taken care of, the second thing you can do, and it's not the ideal solution, but if you don't have ties for longer, uh, for taller men, you don't have longer ties for taller men, the second thing you can do is when you go out is with your suit is to make it a three piece and get a waistcoat with it, or if you're wearing a tie with just a shirt and pants to wear a vest with it. So again, if you have a vest, it's gonna come higher up your torso, you're gonna see the knot, you're gonna see the tie. But if the, skin, if the skinny end is short and it's not going through the keeper and the loop, at least the waistcoat or the vest will help to hide that. The third thing I would suggest, and this is really the most important if you're a taller guy, is to look for extra long ties in the marketplace. Now, most ties in the marketplace are about 58 inches and therefore guys who are basically below 6'1 or 6'2. Taller guys need ties that are 63 inches. If you're 6'6, six, 6'7 six, six, and up, you probably want to tie that 67 inches. Now, this is something we've studied very carefully at the Dark Knot. We don't have ties for guys over 6'7 because Frankly, we don't have many customers that are over 6'7", but we do have ties for taller men like myself and for someone like you who's watching this video, it's maybe 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", or 6'2". These ties are 63 inches and they're going to tie easier for you and you're going to be able to get the exact tie length you want without trying to, you know, uh, have a regular size tie reach the tip of your belt buckle and trying to tie it 10, 15 times and end up being frustrated with the whole process. So, I hope you found this video useful, please feel free to subscribe to our channel below. We will continue to bring you men's style advice and I can help share the knowledge I've accumulated with the Dark Knot and my journey with this brand and blog over the last three to four years. Additionally, please feel free to check out our website where we have an extensive range of silk ties, pocket squares and lapel flowers at www.thedarkknot.com. Um, we also have a men's style blog. Uh, with over 150 articles related to men's fashion and an extensive necktie guide. You can sign up there to get future style blog articles and discounted product offerings. So thank you once again for having watched this video. I'm Rishi Chulani with The Dark Knot and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.